Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Matani and welcome to Learn in Tech. This is the HTML5 tutorial part 1 and I'll be talking about HTML5 introduction. As you all aware about the HTML, HTML is a hypertext markup language which objective is to show your data or content in a web browser whether you are using a website web application or windows application in all these forms html is a language which will show your data to the end user through the browser all right browser understand html and html is used to show data in a browser html5 is the latest version of html and the older version was html 4.01 html5 has Come up with lots of improvement for example if i talk about a audio and video tag in the earlier version of html we use third party application or third party tool for embedding audio and video in our application or in our html code but now we do have audio and video tag by this we can simply embed our video and audio without any third party plugin all right i'll be talking about these things on later videos and now the three building blocks of html5 the first one is tag and the second one is element and third one is the attribute so what is a tag a tag is something where a name is enclosed with the angle brackets we call that tag and html5 has its built-in tag or a predefined set of tag we can use in our html5 code all right and now what is an element an element is something with which i have a starting tag and the ending tag sometimes we call them opening tag or a closing tag all right so this is my title tag and it is ending here so see the difference that we have title and closing with angle brackets here and the same is here but here we have forward slash before the name all right so this is the kind of element we have a start tag and an end tag and inside that we have a content but there are other kind of element too if i talk about this br tag which represents line break but it does not have any closing tag it just has the opening tag so these are a single element we call them okay and after that there is attribute so what is an attribute if you have an element and you want to provide some attribute or some property to that particular element we use attribute for that purpose so how we define attribute you can define the name of your attribute after that there is equal to sign and <coughs> curly brushes and inside that you can put your content okay so this is the structure for attribute how you can define your attribute you can define id classes style sheet for all these tags using the attribute things so this is the introduction of our HTML5. Now we will look into how we can actually perform these things in our code section. So what you need to perform HTML5 coding is you need one of your text editor and one browser. So I have Sublime Text with me. You can use your favorite text editor and can start coding. So this is right now blank and I'll go in my file section here. I'll save this file and you can save it anywhere you want and I'll put the name like I'm putting index you can put whatever you want but keep one thing in mind after the name there should be a dot HTML or dot htm extension to save your file in HTML format so this is the default format defined by w3c and you will have to use page to extension for creating HTML file so once I'll save that my file will save with index.html and now I can create structure here so I'm using sublime so it has intelligence the entire HTML structure is there I'll talk about <coughs> what it's all about in HTML5 there is exclamation mark in the top and doc type HTML it is defining that your document type and after that your normal HTML structure is there your HTML start tag and here is HTML end tag your HTML head tag 
it's uh, ending home head and there is a title start tag end tag body start tag and body end tag okay so these are the mandatory things you need in html code and after that you can start building your own code let's suppose i type something in a title section <coughs> If I type my first site and I'll save it and um, I can open these thing with the folder where I have saved it I'll go in my folder section here so now you can see that the index.html I have saved here with the browser icon reflecting here you can open your file with any of the browser you want and it will open in your browser now you can see in the tab section above there it is there my first site which i have just written here all right so this is the way how you can write things and if i go in a body section and if i define a tag here these are the html predefined tag like p1 and and your p1 tag and just type anything here welcome to my site and save it and now refresh your browser you'll see that you're able to see welcome to my site so there are a lot of like hiding tag like h1 tag we have if i define the same thing in my h1 tag you'll see that it's getting us different result because it's a heading tag the text is coming in bold and the font size is bigger and also we have like h2 tag also which will have a little lesser font i can see that so this is how you can create your first page in html and i'll be talking about in next video what else we can do with html5 till then thank you so much please subscribe to my channel